Today we will solve this problem. It is given like a recurrence relation and a1 is 1, n is equal to n times of a n minus 1 plus 1 and it is given for 2, 3 dot 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 n and you are supposed to find out the limit of this. So first we have to check this is in which format and then we can go ahead. It's given if you check a1 is 1. So what will be a2? a2 will be a1 plus 1 which comes to be 2. If you talk about a3 so this will be 3 times of 1 plus that is a2. It's quite a bigger value 9. So look at it, if you put uh, 1 plus 1 by 2 and then 1 plus 1 by 9, right? so on. If you put a large value, it will be tending to 1, that to also infinite times. So this is in that format, tending to 1, tending to infinity. Let's solve. So kind of a recursion. I hope you have heard it. We have to use it. So can I rearrange this part to write a1 plus 1. Sorry. a1 a1 plus 1 divided by a1. And again can you write it as a2 plus 1 divided by a2 and so on it is a n plus 1 divided by a n so if I go ahead with the second step and this will recall every time that a n is given n times of a n minus 1 plus 1. So, this a 1 is 1. So, I will write this as a 1 plus 1 divided by a 2. I am moving a 2 here. I will shift everything. Why I wrote like this? Because then only it will come in the format of a n minus 1 plus 1 divided by a n. This will come a 2 plus 1 divided by a 3. And what will be the second last one? That is a n minus 1 plus this divided by a n. And left out is the last term that is a n plus 1. So if you, if you further simplify this will become a2 by using this part that is 1 by 2 then it will become 1 by 3 so on and the last term will n into a n plus 1 that's quite interesting so 1 2 3 can I make it as n factorial into a n plus 1. So this is equal to a n divided by n factorial plus by n factorial. So further uh, this is p of n I write n factorial plus a n. So can I write a n as if you recall n times of a n minus 1 plus 1 by n factorial.
Similarly, if I keep on going, this, and this uh, the second term will become how much? 1 by this plus 1 by n minus 1 factorial plus a n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial. Again, can I substitute over here? It will keep on going till 1 by this. So now, this is n tends to infinity. Pn. So I'll put a limit over here. So further, it goes infinity, so the answer is E. So for this question, the answer is E. I hope all of you understand. It's a nice problem. You can attempt it and use the recursion thing to get the answer. Thank you for watching.